Hello everyone, this is Korea Vlog. Today I'm gonna show you another unique place. This is Dongyeumun Museum Village. We can get a sense of Korean modern history here. Are you ready to enjoy your walk with me today? Then let's get started. This village was originally planned to be torn down and turned into a park, but its historical value was acknowledged and the whole village became a museum like this. Here you can get a glimpse of 1960s to 80s of Korea. And we are standing at Village Yard. Sometimes people do busking here, but no one is busking now due to COVID-19. Instead, there are um, traditional game equipment and rest area. Before we look around this village museum, we should check our temperature and get a band at the information center over there. I got a band in advance, but you should make sure to get a band before looking around this museum at the information center. And you can get this paper in that information center. You can collect several stamps around the village. And if you collect all of them and come back to the information center, you will receive some prizes. The stamp tour is limited to 50 people on weekdays and up to 300 people on weekends. So if you want to do this, come early here. And this building is Master's Gallery. We can experience Korean traditional cultures such as traditional food and decorated knots, traditional paper making and pottery and stuff like that. In this building, they display different exhibitions periodically. For now, they exhibit about Bang Jeong-wan, who is a very famous, renowned figure in Korea. He created the word Orini, which means a child in Korean. This building is Dongi Mun Gurakbu. Unlike the house of three generations we saw before, the building looks gorgeous from the outside. What does Gurakbu mean? Gurakbu means club, expressed in Chinese characters. It means a modern social gathering. So people had parties and exchanged cultures here and there's a stage costume on the side. You can try on them and take photos on the stage. It would be really nice to take photos here. Looks like a lot of places to experience, yeah. There are lots of places to experience here in Bonimun Village Museum. The theme of this room is modern women's room. Upper class women's room at the time. The room is finely furnished. There are cute snacks too, but they are model, I can't eat them. So antique room is. And cosmetics of the past. These are clothes of the past, but they still look nice. These clothes won't look that out of fashion even if I wear them now. I like this one. Can we go upstairs? This is the second floor of Tonimun Gurakbu and it's a bar style like banquet room. And there is a chess board. Do you know how to play chess? Honestly, I don't know at all. Maybe we can play some games here. We can play football with friends. So if you borrow the space with your friends, you can enjoy these games like billiard. Beautiful place. It's like a museum inside. Yeah, the whole village is a museum. You know, generally, uh, museums in Korea have just a single building, but this village has lots of buildings organized differently. Never seen an antique interior before. That's amazing. Yeah, I like that modern woman's room. It would be good to take photos there. Yeah, we are in front of Seoul Future Heritage Hall. Shall we get in? The exhibit introduces future heritages. That means things haven't been designated as cultural assets yet, but fully worth delivering to future generations. And on this wall, it reads, What do you think is the future heritage of Seoul? And we can write our own answers here. What kinds of things do you think are the future heritages of Seoul or your 
you are you are telling your country. And this section is about Korean pop songs. We can listen to some old songs of this display. Should I try one? I really love Korea old songs. And this section is about old coffee shop that university students and poets like to visit. This coffee shop still remains in Sinchon, so if you have a chance, it would be good to visit there. Oh, that's cool. That coffee shop must be very old. Yeah, I think so. This is Hall of Life History. And we can see the life of Seoul citizens during 1960s to 1980s. Yeah, all the alleys are interesting and looks antique. And I guess this is an old kitchen. Well, I think Korean have, has been developed so much in, a in such a short time. <laughs> I think this is a master's bedroom and there is a Yunnuri board. Have you heard of Yunnuri? We play Yunnuri on national holidays in Korea. What kinds of games do you enjoy on holidays in your country? And people in Korea slept it on a blanket instead of bed because we didn't have bed in the past, maybe? What do you think of those lacquerware wardrobes? This kinds of furniture is called 나전칠기 in Korean and it means lacquerware decorated with seashells and those glowing patterns are made of seashells. The pattern is so sophisticated and gorgeous. Well, I guess this room is a student's room with school uniforms are hanging on the wall. And the patterned uniform next to the black one, that's a military training uniform. Back in the day, students had to take mandatory military trainings at school since Korea experienced the pain of war. So that, that uniform was for that class. This is Hemunan Theater, and it's a reproduction of old theater. There are old films and old posters of movies. Those movies were popular in the past in Korea. This is a real theater. A movie is being played now. There is a snack bar as well. What do you want to have? <laughs> I want to have some popcorn. Well, this is a this is kind of moving amusement park of the past. Actually, it's my first time to do this ride in person. Interesting place, old movie poster and films. If you visit the theater, you can see the real footage of the movie. And that building is. Temunan comic book store and computer game arcade. I want to enter there, but we don't have enough time to look around the building. In the Donimun game room, there are games like Pac-Man, Tetris, Gallag, and Bubble Bubble, and you can try uh, try those games in person for free. We look around lots of places today. Which one was the most impressive among them? Well, I like Northern Woman's Room the most because it's furnished adorably. I'll find a more interesting place next time, so it's time to wrap up. See you next time. Bye!